Hallo Freunde! I'm very excited to post my new vertical tower hydroponic system in my basement. There were a number of reasons why I ripped out my old system and engineered this new one. This concept was conceived uh, through conversation with an acquaintance, Mark Kinney, uh, who recommended some way to connect the sites uh, with a T rather than boring into a three inch pipe, which was what I had before. So I purchased a bunch of materials and did a couple tests and I found out that the YT is a perfect T that fits the plant plug inside. And what I do for irrigation instead of hard piping I have a half inch pull line with a one quarter inch uh, irrigation tubing uh, with a connector to supply the plants with irrigation. And you can see here that I have the system slightly tilted forward so the nutrient flows down the front of the pipe therefore aerating the roots and also saving on water. There in this system there are 19 sites for lettuce with about eight and a half inches off center between plants uh, alternating as you can see down here well, the plants alternate these are younger plants and then on the end here I extended the system to include a herb section with kale so I have mint and dill and cilantro and Thai basil, Italian basil. I have collard greens, Swiss chard, and then I have four plants of kale in here. So the majority of this system produces lettuce and bok choy. Uh, every week, we starting today, we will harvest 22 plants and put 22 new plants in. My nursery is over here, as you can see. Uh, these are the plants right here that I seeded yesterday that will go in the system in two weeks. These will go in in a week, and these plants will go in today. I can bring you back over here and show you some of the improvements in this system for my old design. First and foremost are the one and a half inch YTs. I also engineered a, uh, in the return line, I put in three rubber couplings so that I can take this system apart in pieces. Each of these towers, this is not glued down here, so I can just pull out the pipe if I need to shut down and clean at some point when I'm outside in my greenhouse in the spring, summer, and fall. This system won't be in use. The problem that I was noticing outside in my greenhouse is that there's just not enough daylight and I would need to use supplemental lighting. Uh, so I moved my plants three weeks ago into this system that I just finished here and they are doing very, very well. So I can show you some of the design changes. Here's my nutrient container, which is a lot bigger. You'll see here uh, that this is where my old system went into the nutrient tank down here. I raised up the height to 15 inches so that I could increase the volume of my nutrient container. So I put a micron mesh bag to filter the nutrient coming back into the container and I have my supply line which runs up into this filter which this nutrient is so clean, I did not need uh, to filter the nutrient going up into the supply line. But what I like about this is that I put a, a valve in here, a shutoff. So once a month when I do a nutrient flush, all I have to do is close this valve and then attach a hose onto here and then I can pump out my water as I'm doing my nutrient flushes rather than taking it out with a, with a bucket and a towel. 
which wasn't all that fun. I engineered this fan into this system as well. The fan goes on when the pump turns on, which is 50 minutes, 50 minutes, 50 minutes on, 50 minutes off. And then the plants are then ventilated as they eat and drink. Again, I have my supply line up there with uh, connectors uh, that go then directly into the towers. So the other big problem that I had with my former system uh, was that I was using the T5 lights, which were very, very power hungry. Uh, about 200 and 240 or so, 224, I believe, watts per fixture. Uh, and they were only four feet tall. So the plants on the top and the bottom were not growing as well because they had less light intensity. So I had to come up with a way to increase this, the height of that light fixture. So as you can see, what I did is I uh, bought a, a vent pipe. This is a six inch vent pipe. And I made my own light structure by spanning it apart and then attaching a socket on the other side with a double socket on the inside. Now the bulbs that I'm using here are LED. I can show you the box. I got them at Costco. This type right here, it's a 100 watt replacement bulb which only uses 15 watts per bulb. And this is the daylight, the uh, 5000K. I wish I had 5600 but that's, that's what I have. Uh, and so the lights were $60 for a pack of 10 with a $45 rebate, it's limit one, bless my wife for going back like 10 times, um, it was actually only 8 times uh, to get uh, those bulbs for me, you're the best shots. And so what I did is I have the double sockets in the center and then on the top I have a single and on the bottom I have a single and I just daisy chained these lights together uh, and I have them all um, in my uh, power strip right here and so doing the math for these lights I have I'm using 30 percent less energy than I was before uh, and I am also um, getting 20% less lumen intensity. So some of these lettuces, like this Ascarde, should be a lot more red uh, than it is green. Uh, but as you can see, the plant plants are still growing, uh, seem to be fine with a little bit less uh, light intensity. So I can just give you a couple specs quick. These towers are little bit over five feet in length like I said there's uh, they're alternating with seven grow sites per tower total of 19 towers and then these extra three towers to make 22 total are spaced a little bit further apart my kale is a foot apart and these herbs are about uh, 10 inches apart uh, from each other and then there's also a, a higher span here the span that I went in between uh, the T's here is four and a half inches and then down here for my return line they're also four and a half inches. So that gives me about like I said before eight and a half uh, inches off center uh, for each of the plant. The system stands a little bit over seven feet tall and is 14 feet long and like I said, the, I raised up the system to 15 inches so that I could uh, use a larger volume. I found that I was constantly adding the nutrient uh, every three to four days. Uh, this system, you know, these plants here on the end, these lettuce, lettuces here are mature uh, and my herbs and my kale, for example, are going to be drinking a lot more 
uh, once they grow. But I've been running this system for three weeks now and it looks like I've used maybe half of the nutrient volume in three weeks. So that's absolutely fantastic. So I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponic growing.